hey loves welcome back to our channel if it's your first time here hi my name is Olu Akemi Adesola and if you're a returning subscribers you already know what's up you know how we do it here today we're going to be talking about 10 beauty practices that you should start in your 20s now let's get right into the video beauty practices to start in your 20s in no particular order everything I'm about to mention is super super important and should be practiced so the very first thing is stop touching your face really stop touching your face some of us cannot do without putting our hands on our face and we should be i think it starts from self-awareness we, we should be conscious of what we do at all times because our hands literally are like the most used part of our body because we use it to touch we give people handshakes we hug people you know other people sweat comes in contact with your hand you know we rub those hands on surfaces that are dirty and at the end of the day we bring the same hand to touch our faces that is so wrong and dirty on all levels because our hands have come in contact with bacteria germs dirt you know whatever it is especially in this um covid19 age it is just so wrong touching the face because that same bacteria and germs that you your hand have come in contact with now you're transferring it to your face it can lead to breakout so avoid touching your face as much as possible the next thing is while performing your skincare routine as much as you care and pamper your face do not forget your neck and your chest also because the face is not just this you should you should extend you should extend the care to your neck and to your chest at least to this level when you clean your face you use the toner you use the face wash you scrub you do everything and your face is glowing but your neck and your chest is not you're cheating your neck and your chest so as much as you pamper your face try and extend that same care towards your neck and your chest so to um, have an even skin tone even color of your face neck and your chest now the next thing is changing your sheets and pillowcases at least once every week now when it comes to pillowcases especially for we the ladies you know we apply so much oils on our hair you know so much products on our face whatever and at the end of the day when we sleep all those things rub on the pillowcase and will still come in contact with our faces so it can lead to breakout it is just dirty on all levels so we should try as much as possible to change our pillowcases and sheets as often as possible and i mean at least once in a week because these things have direct contact with our body with our skin another thing now is saying a big big yes to sunscreen i don't know but recently i heard some people saying black people do not need sunscreen really i don't know where you guys got that idea from but sunscreen is not just for white people or fair people or people who are light skin colored it is for every body and sunscreen shouldn't just be rubbed on the face whatever part of your body that you know is going to be exposed to the sun sunscreen should be applied there if you know you're going to be wearing a sleeveless top your arm your hand your chest your neck and your face should be sunscreen you should apply sunscreen on it this one goes mostly for the ladies especially we that do makeup so our makeup brushes and um sponges we should try as much as possible to wash them once in a week we can do as little as soaking it in warm water and um, conditioner or whatever substance that we use to wash our brushes but we should make sure we do it at least once in a week 
most especially if you know that you apply makeup every day of the week you should at least wash it once in a week because this makeup brushes when we use it we keep it back to the next day when we want to use it again but in the process of keeping it back you know there are some bacteria and germs that are flying around and dirt even dust that will get hung up on it and when we want to use it again we just pick it up directly and use it on our face it can cause breakout you know sometimes we just like you don't know why you're breaking out it's not even that time of the month but yet you're breaking out and you do not know why these little things are the reason why we break out sometimes and sometimes when we break out and we have pimples acne and what whatnot it ends up leaving us with dark spots on our faces or on or any other part of our skin which is not really good because sometimes it takes a very long time before it fades off and leaves the face cutting down on alcohol well I am NOT a big fan of alcohol so that is very very easy for me now apart from skincare or um, apart from it being a beauty practice also for the health for our health we should cut down on alcohol i know as ladies sometimes you know you want to have a wild night with your friends hang out get drunk and do all of that but let us cut down how we do these things if it's something you do every day maybe you should try weekends only and if it's something you do weekends only maybe you should try just one day out of the weekend probably saturdays only and before you know it you wouldn't even want to have alcohol that much because it's not going to tell on the body now but on the long run at the long run we'll start seeing the effects of these things vitamins use your vitamins and by saying vitamins i do not mean just the supplement I mean when I see your plate and you're eating, I want to see colors, I want to see fruits, I want to see vegetables. All these things contain vitamin A, B, C, D and every other vitamin that you can think of. When you eat balanced diet, when you eat an healthy meal, you get the necessary vitamins from it. Now talking about the artificial vitamins, that is the supplement. When you take supplements, it is just an addition to what to the vitamins and the nutrients that you've already gotten from your meal, from your food. So it is just an addition. Supplements are just addition. It doesn't mean you should solely rely on the vitamins that you're getting from this supplement. I'm also going to talk about incorporating oils in our skincare routine. There are so many natural oils that we can try out that encourage that um, helps with the skin in curing whatever skin infection we might have or breakouts or anything our skin is suffering from. There are oils like jojoba oil, lavender oil, coconut oil, um, castor oil, any kinds of oil that you think your skin even even shea butter is also a kind of oil that is very very good it helps your skin glow it fades stretch marks it fades dark spots it helps reduce cellulite on the skin so these are different kinds of oils that you can try out and if you try any of these oils out and it is not compatible with your skin it doesn't work well with your skin or it is causing you to break out you should stop using it immediately and you can also try another oil now second to the last thing i'm going to be saying is sleep i know especially at this our age 20 21 22 till our late 20s we lack sleep we do not get enough sleep because we are distracted by so many things you know you want to netflix at night you want to do the old social media instagram snapchat whatsapp and all of that you want to do that at night you want to watch a movie you're talking on the phone with somebody video calls and all of that we deprive ourselves of so much sleep and when we get enough sleep it helps relax the muscle and the nerves in the face in the skin generally they will all come to a rest and kind of rejuvenate for the next day up and down if we're depriving ourselves of sleep it's going to be hard for the skin to cooperate with whatever skincare routine you're doing because you lack sleep you're not giving your 
face you're not giving your body enough rest for whatever you're using or applying to actually work on you now the last thing i'm going to be talking about is water drink enough water try as much as possible to drink at least four liters of water every day and immediately you wake up from the bed before you do anything drink a glass of water it really help you know relax the body and the mind and you know it keeps you hydrated and when you are hydrated that when you have adequate water intake your skin becomes it becomes vibrant it becomes glowy your skin becomes more vibrant you glow more you appear more moisturized you are actually more moisturized when you when you drink enough water your skin is without adequate intake of water your skin becomes duller you know you are more prone to getting wrinkles pores become more prominent but when you're properly hydrated the skin becomes more plump more vibrant more moisturized and also elasticity is improved meaning you are less likely to get cracks and breaks and breakouts that's all i have for you today guys if this is the kind of content you like please support me by clicking on that subscribe button so you can see more of my content share this video with all of your friends click on the like button and you can also follow me on my instagram page at sugarated underscore i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye